How you doing everyone? Turkey Buzzard here. Hope you're having a good day. Well, I'm at Ten Pines Bluff where I built a working farm. And before I start the tour, I want to give you a quick update. Now up till this point, I've always done my videos strictly off the Xbox. I had a small laptop computer and I would create my videos on the Xbox and edit them using the Upload Studio. And of course that meant I had to do voiceovers and all that. And it was a lot of work. Uh, sometimes five hours, four or five hours to put out a 15 minute video. So I decided I'd had enough of that and I recently went out and bought a brand new computer, bought a microphone, installed the OBS open broadcaster software and I edit now through the Windows Movie Maker and doing this has really made the video quality much better I'm recording now at 60 frames per second and I'm processing the video at 1080p which means much better quality video no more voiceovers However, with that comes a little bit of a caveat. Uh, before, when I was doing voiceovers, if I screwed up and threw in a swear word, I could stop recording, start over, until I got it right. Well, there's no more of that. Now, every video I'll be live. And, of course, with that, of course, that means if I throw in a swear word now and then, or, or have a bit of a brain lock then you get to see that in living color so with that said let's get started with this video as I said I wanted to build a working farm and of course if we're gonna have a working farm we gotta have a cow barn so I built these guys a cow barn <clears throat> come out pretty nice I thought works out well. They've got a few cows in the barn. They've got another cow out back here. Kind of hard to work in this area because of all the hills. But it come out alright. I think it, it looks pretty good. And I'm surprised these cows have actually been behaving. They've been staying in the barn. They haven't been wandering all over the place. So that's a big plus. Now here on the side, I figured being a farm, they're going to have a ton of wood that they'll use in the wood stove. So they got stacks of wood here, and of course an area where they're splitting wood. We'll go in the house here. Now, if you watch my videos, you'll know that... I do all these ultra modern type things so this was really hard for me to build uh, you know I always want to get everything perfect and obviously if I'm gonna do something that's a little more lore friendly it can't be perfect I had to watch myself and not over decorate uh, I tried to make everything a little scrappy you know I used the copy pasta mod to tilt these paintings so that they're not hanging quite even. I figured being a scrappy house, you know, it's not going to have really nice stuff here. But it didn't come out too bad. Out here, I build them a workshop, which didn't come out too bad. Now, Mr. and Mrs. Ten Pines live here, of course. But they also have somewhere here, they've got a farmhand that takes care of the hen house. Not sure where he's at at the moment. Normally, he's standing right there in my way. But Mr. and Mrs. Ten Pines, they farm potatoes, as you well know. 
I moved them over here to make room for other things over there where they were. And of course I build them a, a silo. Farms always have silos. I set up uh, telephone poles for all the wires. I figured, you know, being a farm they're going to have telephone poles and wires all over the place. I never use them in my modern builds. My modern builds never have any wiring or anything in them. Now here's something I really had fun with. It's a hay wagon. And it wouldn't have been possible without the copy pasta mod. Now, in the vanilla game, they don't have any wheels whatsoever that you can use. And as a matter of fact, I'm running over 130 mods, and in every one of those mods, you will not find a wheel. So in order to build this, I used the copy pasta mod, and I took a tractor, and I rotated it down into the ground and buried it so that just the wheels stick up. And I did that on the front, and I did it again on the back. And then I built the hay wagon on top of it. And once I finished it, I really liked the way it came out. And I figured since they had one hay wagon, they'll probably have at least two. So I copied the entire hay wagon, and I took it up here and pasted it up here. So now they have two hay wagons. So I really enjoyed building that hay wagon. It was a lot of fun. And it's something that without the copy pasta mod wouldn't have been possible. But being a farm, you know, they're going to do a lot of haying. You know, their, their cows have to have food. They have to have bedding. So these guys are going to have hay and they're going to have to haul it somehow. So they need the hay wagons to do that with. Of course once they bring the hay in they've got to unload it and when they do they'll put it in this elevator put it up into the hay loft. Now in order to get up to the hay loft you gotta go up the ladder And, of course, they stack all the hay up here. So that didn't come out too bad. And, of course, downstairs, I build them sort of like a workshop area. But that didn't come out too bad, I didn't think. I really like it. You know, this entire build uh, has been really a step away for me. Uh, I'm used to doing ultra modern stuff and you know it was tough to try to build something that's a little more lore friendly. And although this may not be a hundred percent lore friendly it's about a thousand percent more lore friendly than the stuff I normally build. But as you see I put turrets all the way around and of course this area here is for the provisioners. So it was a lot of fun, you know. It was something different than I normally do. Not to say I'm going to be doing a ton of uh, lower friendly builds, but doing one or two once in a while is going to be fun. You know, it's going to be something different for me. So I enjoyed it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button. Appreciate it when you do. And if you haven't subscribed, please do, please do so. You know, I put out new videos every week. And as I said, my videos will now be of a little better quality. So hopefully that will, will make things more enjoyable. But anyways, I want to thank everybody for watching. And I'll see you again next week.